Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning back in. Bag of Ball and Pat here, just back in the van for another quick stream review. Supposed to have someone come look at the van tomorrow, but no one ever wants to show up out here to take a look at it, so I still got it, you know. But anyway, right now we will re right now we will be reviewing some something new from the Stizzy Gray label. It would be Mango Sherbert from Stizzy. They've been having a lot of Sherbert stuff lately, I've noticed. But that's okay because Sherbert is great. Um, but yeah, it's Gray label. Mango Sherbert. I almost got the white gelato this time. But I was like, you know what? This one looks a little bit better. The buds look better through the bag. It is a lower percentage THC. But I said, ah, oh, it kind of looks nice. So, here we go. Yeah, it's 31%. 31.58% THC. 32.36% total cannibal noise so i just took a nice ride out there found a little shortcut though so i've been going a different route now behind some houses riding through the desert a little bit kind of fun there you know so anyway ooh, oh damn yeah so yeah, i actually got a tray right here Okay, nice size eighth here, huh? Well, you can't see it on the tray right now, but there's yeah, some nice looking buds there, huh? And this is their $20 eighth out the door. Let's see, oh, I can't pick this one up, huh? It almost looks like the, um, the triangle sherbet, just a little bit darker green. The hairs are a little bit more orange, and there is more crystals on there. But yeah, see, these are all uh, good sized buds here, huh? Does appear to be pretty fluffy there. There's another bud here. And then this bud, and then there's a tiny, tiny bud, and then some loose stuff there. So yeah, actually real nice size eighth. Um, smells good. So I guess someone commented, I actually don't remember if I commented back or not, but I guess these, the gray label and the, um, the white label, I guess are greenhouse grown and the black label is the indoor. So that would explain why these are a little bit more earthy, but that's okay because I like greenhouse. I like the earthiness to it. That piney smell, real earthy, dirty smell. It's kind of good, you know? Sometimes when that taste comes through in it, it's not all that good. But when you could avoid that dirty taste, then it's okay, you know? Which, uh, Stizzy seems to do pretty well at avoiding getting that dirty taste into there. So let's see here. And they did just get some new companies in and everything like that. So I'll take a look. And uh, <clears throat> I'm actually going back out tomorrow. Because tomorrow their deals start. Which I didn't realize that. I would have just rode out tomorrow. So I just went and picked up an eighth of this mango sherbet. And then I got a quarter of the uh, the triangle glue again. Or the triangle sherbet. Because that's their best white label. Picked up the quarter for 25 So anyway. Let's go here. I got a little bowl packed. I will probably throw some more in there. But. Bon appétit. And it is actually pretty sticky. It is fluffy, but it is also pretty uh pretty sticky at the same time, so that's nice. hits
I would guess probably something tropical leaf <laughs> for sure. <coughs> <coughs> Don't necessarily if I would <coughs> wouldn't guess mango sherbet, but very tropical -y though. Very nice. Might not even need to pack another one. I almost stopped on the way back on top of this hill in the desert overlooking the freeway. Maybe tomorrow when I ride out, I'll stop on the way back because today was kind of windy anyway. But I was going to buy a pre-roll, like one of their 4 or $5 pre-rolls, sit there, smoke, watch the cars and stuff, do a smoke session like that. But I forgot to get a pre-roll and everything. So I was like, I'll just ride back, do a review on this. So, you know. And I don't think this one I'm going to bank. I think this one I am going to upload today, which it is a... Uh, the hell's today the 8th the 9th february 9th god damn that's crazy huh yeah so february 9th i'll probably upload it today on the 9th um and tomorrow i'll go pick up some other screens do some other reviews uh, this is the first screen review i've actually done for the week because i've had all week from last week i did i uploaded one on sunday though that i did on sunday of the desert toad from tyson so go check that out for sure you know Cause I don't think I did a review on the private reserve, actually. I don't know if I did or didn't. I might have done a review on the private reserve the quarter of that. I don't know if I, like I said, I can't remember if I did or didn't. So maybe I did one this week already, but I don't think I did. I think this is the first review I'm doing this week. Sometimes I do like two, three, four and stash them. Because like I said, if you're just tuning in or if you're returning, you've heard this before, but I'm getting ready to go on a bike ride. Uh, beginning of March, I will be leaving. Um, if I sell the van, maybe sooner than that, I'll start riding around, but I might watch someone's dogs for them for a night or two in the beginning of March, so we'll see what happens. That, so. Soon, we will be going cross-country. I'll take you guys on the journey with me, you know. We'll go see some cool places. We'll ride some back roads and stuff like that. And when I say bike... People would think I mean motorcycle. I'm talking about like a bicycle, a mountain bike, you know? Got a good old mongoose, baby. It's going to take like a month or two probably to ride. Maybe longer depending on stops and stuff like that. But hey, we shall see, you know? I'm hoping to go to New York, make some money, and then come back out west. But we shall see financially where I stand. Um, I'm going to try to pick up work along the way, this and that. So I could keep riding because that's something I really want to do. I really want to hit every state on my bicycle and stuff like that. I eventually want to end up doing um other stuff like ride for rescues, for dog rescues, raise money for that. I want to raise money for like suicide awareness one ride. So I want to do rides. This is just like a test ride and then try to link up with people. Um, I'm going to use my media to network in this uh, YouTube to network, help raise uh sponsors whatnot for it because all the proceeds will go to like the rescue dogs or for like suicide awareness and stuff like that but maybe we'll do something like um different with the proceeds i don't want to uh just say if we raise ten thousand dollars i don't want to just give ten thousand dollars to like the suicide awareness foundation because you have to pay people yada 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 so maybe like uh i got all ideas in my head this will be a whole nother thing, okay? We'll talk about, but back to the review here. I can tell it's working because I'm rambling. I'm going on a whole nother subject there, so, hey. So I know it's kicking in there. Oh, I go on a different subject without being high either. That's just my mind. Go boop, boop, bing, bing, bing. I got a little ping pong ball in my mind. I just go back and forth, back and forth off ideas, off what I want to say, what I want to do, yada, yada, yada. Never ending, never ending. Good Lord. Can't even sleep properly, even with smoking weed. I don't smoke weed, I'm up here for like two or three hours. I smoke weed, I'm up here for two or three hours. So. Never ending, never ending, man, never ending. Sometimes always. Drink a beer or two, eat some mushrooms that day, do some wax or something at the end of the night. If you're smoking too, it's the good, it's the good. That day, you know. But anyway. This does have a nice tropical flavor, but it is very tropical and very earthy. I have had some, um, damn, something from Island Remedy. Maybe it was the Alien OG that I had. 
that this kind of reminds me of that alien OG, especially with the smell, because it does have that piney smell, but it is also like a tropical piney, you know? I would maybe guess more like pineapple than like mango, but I do get hints of like some mango in there or some or some type of like orangey citrus. But um, looks I and mean, looks, we'll go ahead. We'll give it eight and a half out of ten, especially for a nice earthy look. It is very bright, very green, nice orange hairs, very crystally. So that's nice for earthy weed to see, especially because sometimes they just look kind of bland, you know. And um. The smell, we'll go ahead, we'll give the smell, 8 out of 10, not the best, not the worst. Price, we'll go ahead, I'll give price 8 out of 10 also, because 20 bucks for the out the door is not bad. You know what, we'll go ahead 10 out of 10, because that's still a great price for an 8 out the door, especially for some high quality stuff. So price, 10 out of 10. Smokeability, it is easily smokable. It hits nice, it smokes nice. I am feeling it already. So we'll go ahead and we'll give that nine out of 10 because it is good. I imagine it would smoke nice out of a blunt. It does feel pretty fresh. It was packaged on 12-28-2022. So less than two months ago, it was packaged and it's on fire. I mean, it's what you expect from Stizzy. Stizzy's killing the game right now. So that's one thing I'm gonna miss about California is having the Stizzy right there. I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. I know they have a couple in other states, but yeah, I'm going to have to come back to California just for Stizzy alone. Stizzy, you guys watch this. I love you guys. You guys are the best. You know, you guys got the best weed right now. You guys are killing the game. Keep doing this thing, you know. Hopefully, maybe one day you guys will sponsor me. I get a big enough following and stuff like that. That'd be pretty dope. Uh, give me a couple stickers to put on my helmet for the bike ride cross country and stuff like that. Maybe give me some bud, you know. Shoot, shoot. Only in the legal states. Only in the legal states, you know what I'm saying. Always a wink. Just in case I don't, I don't. Double wink right there, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, enough brown nosing. Um, so the mango sherbet, we'll go ahead. Give it an overall rating of eight and a half out of 10. I'd probably say this is definitely within the top gray labels that I've had, but probably the best one I had was the Kush Crashers. But this is maybe close uh, close second or third to the Kush Crashers there for their gray label. So, and like I said, this is a newer one of their strains. If you've had it, go check it out. Let me know, or if you've had it, let me know in the comments. If you haven't, definitely go check it out. Worth picking up. If you've had any of their other stuff, let me know. If you want to see me try anything or review anything from Stizzy, other companies, let me know down in the comments below. I will try to go ahead and pick it up and review it. I always keep an eye out for stuff that people recommend. So I'm still looking for a couple other things. Like there was the one. Ah, damn. Really wanted to try uh, from Stizzy. Oh, the cereal milk. The Grey Label cereal milk. Still can't find any of that yet. So hopefully before I leave within the month or by the beginning of next month, I will get some of that right there. But anyway, you're watching. Thanks for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Stay positive. Spread the good vibes. Let me know what you're smoking on. Keep on burning it down. Give people a chance. Give people a chance. You know the deal. Yada, yada. Back on Pat. I'm out. Gonna go enjoy the nice, beautiful day. Well, I'm about to go do another smoke session. But that's a whole other story. Stay tuned. Back on Pat. I'm out. Peace. Much love. Thanks for all the support lately, too. Greatly appreciate it.